got a letter saying, denied, you have 15 days to leave the country. Ultimately, every cell in my body was telling me to get on that horse and ride home. When uh, Philippe told me he was gonna do Canada to Brazil, I didn't believe. That's why 95% of the people who have ever written me never set off. It just got stronger and stronger the older I got. Like I was very scared, very scared. Just convincing people that a 20-some-year-old kid who had no previous experience long riding could pull off one of the longest and most arduous rides of the 21st century. And that's when my life fell apart. I'm descending from Canada to Brazil to Cavalho. Loco, no, 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 no. The bruiser started biking and threw me off. Got a huge slit in my pants. I think my finger is broken. The deepest scars I have in my soul came from all that time that I spent alone. It's the perfect recipe for craziness. So this is um, Mayomi. I'm gonna take her on one last ride and uh, hopefully she'll make it all the way to Brazil with me. Of course, there's always the traditional challenges of mountains, jungles, disease, insects, carnivorous beasts, and very dangerous human beings. Are you the guy that's riding to South America? Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck, man.